that spin class you're addicted to because it's so good for your figure or your shape, <laughs> right? Do, do, does a man call it a figure? Not. Should we just say body shape no. in general so it's kind of unisex? What anyway, if we just say health? It's good your for health, your health, or is it? Because it's so good for your health, it may actually be hazardous to your hearing, too. Con consumer reporter Steve Noviello took our cameras for a spin. He measured noise levels so loud that you actually might be safer spending an hour listening to a jet engine. It's the latest cardio craze taking the nation by storm, but just beyond the dim lights and sweaty bikes of the most popular spin studios in town, we found a potentially dangerous and unregulated detail that may have you reconsidering your ride. That music meant to move you as you battle the bulge, set so loud it can do real harm to your hearing. They're very concerning numbers. Dr. Colleen Laprell is a professor of hearing science at UTD. Anything above 90 decibels is starting to get into what we would consider hazardous noise. We met with her team who armed us with the tools we would need to sample the sound at spin class. Then... <laughs> We rode. You're so close. For months, we took sound samples at Flywheel and Soul Cycle, two national chains with multiple locations in North Texas. For each class we took, we used the free ear protection each studio offered. We couldn't help but notice most other riders didn't. And that, says our expert, is the real danger here. While countless cardio fans swear by spin class as a great workout for the mind, body, and soul, protecting the ears seems second. Secondary. Both Soul Cycle and Flywheel provide free ear protection, but signage to instruct or encourage use is not required because inside these spin studios, there is no limit on how loud they can play the music. Cardio class is considered recreational noise, and for that, there is no regulation. But maybe there should be. Dallas, Texas, back out to there. Let's push it out. Go. Take a listen to what we found. The highest dose that you measured was 547%. That's essentially an entire week's worth of noise in one session. 20 and 70. Every single one of the sessions that um, you attended resulted in more than 100%. To put that in perspective, the sounds we measured were louder than a lawnmower, a bulldozer, or a jet plane flying overhead. About the only thing that's quieter than is if you were at a rock concert with the band performing in front of you. And if you think that puts you at risk, consider your instructor. For them, this is occupational noise, which is regulated. But inspections from OSHA usually come down to complaints. Laprell says the readings we found all exceed OSHA's permissible exposure limit, especially after two classes. Add in a third class and, and those instructors would um, be in a, in a position where they would be required to wear hearing protection. Which brings us back to those free earplugs. Each pair provided had a high enough noise reduction rating to bring those sounds down to a safe level. But here's the spin. Most folks, myself included, then I kind of hold it in there and I uh -huh. tap the end. Don't use them correctly. These are only halfway in. Most don't roll them down small enough or insert them deep enough. Only possible when you hold your ear. I'm gonna actually pull my ear up and a little bit back. Up and back to access the ear canal. The folks at Flywheel say the company is aware of its obligation to both its customers and its employees concerning appropriate sound levels in its studios and ensures that appropriate protective hearing measures are made available. As for SoulCycle, our weeks of emails and phone calls went unanswered. The company finally saying they weren't compelled to return contact since they have no comment. I apologize about the noise. Our expert says she cannot stress enough the importance of using that ear protection provided because unlike that bulge you're battling, once you lose your hearing, it's gone for good. I'm Steve Noviello. That's my two cents. Spend it wisely.